I bought this 3M headlight restoration system online for like $15. So I'll leave a link okay, under. What's inside the restoration kit? I got this buffing thing, just one. And then I got one. These are lower grit sandpaper, the white one. And the gold is a higher grit sandpaper. Gold this is the first step. So I got the one, gold two, sanding paper. Three, four, five, six of this. And then I got this one. One that's already attached in the foam holder for my driller. Driller's not included, mind you, and this buffing foam just one and i got the rubbing compound after I you could wash your headlights first before you put the painter's tape but i did the other way around but i think it's better to wash it before putting the painter's tape on and there it is so i'm gonna go wash it right now I used a dish Over soap here. and water as well as the sponge to wash the headlights. Okay, after washing it, make sure to dry the headlights with towel or paper towel, whichever you have at home. So dry it up well. Now we're gonna go put the gold sanding paper on the holder so we could Front start facing outward. sanding the Stick headlights. There well. Make sure it's in the middle. And I have my driller. Driller is not included so I'm gonna stick it in there. Make sure to lock it. Now we're gonna go sand it. Okay, so using a medium to light pressure, begin sanding to remove the yellow and the surface defects from the lens. A slow and steady back and forth action will be most effective when the disc is clogged. I think like mine do, it's not yellow anymore because I've been sanding already. So use back and forth motion in light pressure. Medium to light pressure, don't stay in one spot. So back and forth, back and forth. We have, it's clogged up. I have to replace it with a, another yellow disc. All right. Now we're gonna need towels or paper towels, whichever you have at home. Make sure to wipe the dust off of the headlights because um, we're done sanding. We have to get the dust Make off sure of it. there's no more dust particles there we go so it looks frosted right now now i'm gonna do the other side and i'm gonna show you the step number seven the gold disc to the pad holder now i'm gonna attach attach the yellow uh, the white disc to the pad holder it's got a purple back and this should be the front so attach it here to the pad holder using medium to light pressure we have to sand it again okay, now we're on step seven remove the gold is i already did so using medium to light pressure begin sanding to reduce the sand scratches from the p500 the, the first sandpaper i used so use it back and forth motion so you could see the yellow wing is coming off it's starting to turn white and just keep on doing that until the scratches from the p500 is not that visible anymore now we have to remove the white disc from the disc holder so i'm done sanding and I have the green gray um, disc. It's like a foamy disc, and then spritz it with water. Make sure it's wet. I want to wet myself. So it's wet, and then attach it to the foam holder. 
for the disc holder i have my water spray so i'm gonna spray more water later scratches add mist of water to the surface if it becomes dry while sand this is how it looks like it looks a little clearer than it was before it used to be very frosty so i'm gonna do the same thing with this one again now remove the green gray foam i'm done with this it's dumped okay now i'm gonna attach the p300 foam disc to the disc holder make sure it's in the center okay dispense a dime sized amount of 3m <laughs> rubbing compound to the orange foam compounding pad so a dime size how big is the dime size i got the dime size <coughs> and i'm gonna go spread it so it doesn't splatter everywhere okay so holding the fat pad flat on the lens polish the lens until the cloudy haze is gone and the clarity is significantly improved okay if additional clarity is needed or desired add another dime size amount of 3m rubbing compound so i'm gonna rub the rubbing compound back and forth to my lens until I get the clarity that I want so rub it it's becoming clear frost is lifting <laughs> so um, some people said toothpaste and WD-40 would do the trick with the headlights but those are temporary I want something permanent so I don't keep on doing it again and again for my headlights so I did a um, 3M restorating kit and I'm so happy!